Hey everyone, what's going on? Dexalic here, and today I wanted to talk about a game from Steam Fest that was recommended to me by a fellow streamer, twitch.tv slash it's tonic. Check him out, drop him a follow. Now, if you don't know what Steam Fest is, it's a developer showcase of sorts, which you can go to Steam and download demos for games that are set to be released in the future. This game that stood out and really made an impression on me is called Conscript. In Conscript, you play a lone French soldier navigating the craziness that was the First World War, scavenging for supplies, solving puzzles, all while trying to get your brother Pierre home after he suffers an injury. Conscript manages to be a horror game while leveraging the devil we already know, in contrast to creating some abstract, intangible creature as is often seen in traditional horror games. The developers achieved this through a variety of techniques that we will go through in this video and my goal in the next several minutes is to convince any horror fans who are looking to get their scary fill to give this game a shot because in my opinion this is one game you're not going to want to miss. As stated previously, Conscript takes place during the First World War. As is expected, the tone of this game is very dark, dreary, and macabre. And the developers make this blatantly obvious the moment you boot into the game when you're instantly met with some dialogue along with gunshots echoing and billowing in the distance. As you begin to learn the mechanics of the game, you'll quickly notice the developer's intention for intensity as your camera shakes while you sprint from trench to trench. Conscript greets you with war effort related posters and pictures to help add to the overall feel. The game introduces a hide mechanic that makes it possible to tuck yourself away in designated nooks and crannies in the event that things become a little too overwhelming. Very early on in the demo, you'll notice the variety in the play out of certain events. I recall in my first few moments seeing a wounded soldier attempting to make their way back to home base. Now, this did not turn out favorably for the soldier during my first encounter as he was brutally gunned down before reaching his destination. This unfortunately would be where I experienced my first and only crash. Oh, the fuck? Oh, that was a waste. Code error. Which is to be expected in a non-full release version of the game, however, I do hope this gets patched very soon. Given that Conscript utilizes a very similar save feature to Resident Evil using manual saves via ink ribbons, if you so choose, you can also choose a more forgiving save setting before starting the game. It would feel horrible to lose all of your progress between saves due to a crash. Continuing on, speaking as to the variety of encounters, when I rebooted and continued on from that same point where the soldier was gunned down, I noticed that this time he had survived the encounter and made it back to his base safely. This variability in game events was something that immediately impressed me and made me want to keep playing and I can safely say that I encountered several of these moments throughout my time in the demo. Upon finding my brother wounded I continued on to the front lines where I was met with several enemies, field wielding a variety of weapons of which I would eventually gain access to shortly after. These weapons range from rifles, shotguns, and pistols to grenades and melee weapons such as a shovel and a club with nails sticking out. Yeah, these various weapons can be upgraded and supplied with further ammo as you find more of the game's currency and trade it with a local soldier who acts as a merchant. I found it to be a nice touch that the game's currency was actually cigarettes, which had been my initial inkling as to what these cigarettes might be used for when first discovered before finding out their intended use. This to me speaks intelligent game design and attention to detail as it was obvious to me as a player who was well aware of the want and need for cigarettes during these times, who was able to figure out this would be a means for the buying and selling of goods. Speaking of goods, there is a vast array of items to buy to help along with your playthrough. This includes repair kits, ink ribbons for saves, batteries for a light that you may very well need given that this game is very dark, as well as crafting material for ammo and even more melee weapons if you so choose. Speaking of crafting materials, this game has an ammo crafting system that surely reminds me of Resident Evil, where you can mix compound A with X material to get compound B to mix with Y material to get compound C and so on and so forth. This is not however simply the second similarity to Resident Evil that Conscript has. The game also features a very similar map navigation and inventory management system that will give you flashbacks to Resident Evil 1 and 2 which I believe to be a wise decision. Why reinvent the wheel if it already roles, and Conscript takes this approach for several different things. Conscript seems to get a lot of its influence from other games, which seem to be ranging from the Metro series and its war-like feel, as well as its art style from something like Signalis. 
important, which also has the similar task of finding someone very close to you, albeit in that game, it is your girlfriend you are looking for, and the threat is portrayed as supernatural, as well as it being sci-fi. Conscript also seems to borrow the gameplay of said Signalis, down to the shooting and movement, give or take a dodge roll or two, along with the constant feeling of having to make decisions between which items to keep or which to leave behind. Now, if you're someone who is familiar with this type of survival gameplay, then you're likely to feel right at home. However, if you aren't used to playing these types of games, I would caution you to be aware and take note of this, as it can be relatively tense as well as frustrating and may not be your cup of tea if you're not a fan of inventory management. Now, while Conscript definitely feels like it is trying to be a puzzle game in certain aspects, in the demo this wasn't showcased as well as it should have been. Most of the puzzle action was a combination of reading item descriptions and backtracking through all of the doors that were previously locked on your first pass through. Players of Alien Isolation know this all too well and might be turned off by this type of gameplay. On a positive note, this allows you to see the various ways you can use items found later on to open other passages using dynamite which wasn't available in the demo, or even to prevent enemies from swarming and overcoming you and your forces using barbed wire as a measure to fend off future attacks. Still, I would have liked to see more genuine puzzle solving beyond the go here and put that thing there type gameplay. Now overall, what Conscript manages to achieve in such a short playthrough is genuinely impressive. The game has a very cool, unique concept that manages to capture you almost instantly. You'll find yourself on your seat and disgusted at certain parts of the demo and possibly sometimes even thinking to yourself, wow, is this what humanity is? As you look onto the piles of bodies that stack over time during your playthrough, this feeling becomes even more overwhelming as you shoot your enemies down and they aren't fully dead. And then you're faced with the decision to either let them suffer or to finish them off brutally with a blunt blow to the head or a quick death with your sidearm. This along with the events of seeing enemies and comrades crawling with half their bodies blown off or feeling the effects of poison gas really make this game feel special and in its own class, especially at the future release price of $19.99. So if you're a fan of horror games and are looking to find something that will keep you occupied, especially in the long drought we've had of re-releases of things like Dead Space and even more action-y sequels, then I would definitely recommend you give this game a try. Anyway, I hope that this video has helped you make a decision as to whether or not to give this game a go. Uh, it's out free now on Steam to try the demo. So if you've got an hour to three, then definitely check this one out. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more content like this and I would love to hear more about what you think about the game after you've tried it in the comments below. Did you like it or not? Would you like to see more of these types of games in the future? Anyway, that's it for now folks. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.